so welcome back to my channel Ezekiel N7 today we're going to be doing my first ever motorbike vlog on this channel I have done them before about two years ago when I had a motorbike um, I was actually riding it around I did a couple of uh, videos on my gaming channel but that was a long time ago I also had my GoPro mounted differently really excited today I'm gonna to be heading into London basically gonna go see if I can find any supercars which I think I will because it's quite a nice day it's currently about 7:30. I'm hoping to get into London and get all the footage done by about 8 45 9 p.m. ish but as a quick update on the bike I haven't yet got the exhaust system I haven't done anything with the tail tidy I haven't done anything at all to this bike I haven't even got it serviced yet I haven't really used it to be totally honest with you because I have been trying to find an exhaust so as you guys know I really really want a toast exhaust now I don't really want to buy it brand new because I feel like it's not really worth the money it's literally gonna cost me about a thousand pounds when I can find one secondhand for about 400 to 500 pounds on you know eBay or Gumtree or whatever so I'm basically waiting for it to pop up the right one for the 2009 model but in the last few weeks well actually a few weeks ago I had a little bit of an accident so let me explain basically what happened was I was uh, I was actually test riding my my dad's bikes he has like an FZ1 and he also has a Z750 I think it is um, and I was just test riding it I come back and I was like I wanted to have a go on my bike again after we uh, basically adjusted the chain um, um, I went out come back in and I was in the back garden where it's, it's cement it's a you know cement floor like this um, and I put the stand down but as I put the stand down, in my mind, I thought that didn't seem right. I didn't feel like I didn't push it all the way. So what happened was I pushed it to about 90%. Um, and what happened was as I was getting off the bike, I let it to one side, I had one foot in the air, and all the weight of the bike just kept coming this way because the bike stand flipped back up and I had all the weight of the bike on my one leg twisted and my knee just couldn't take it. So the bike fell down really slowly. It didn't really damage the bike at all apart from this area here was slightly scratched, so this is the, uh, I think it's called the, ah, uh, what's it called? I think it's just the clutch cover case. I'm Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not called that, but it's something very similar to that. And also there's a little bit of like damage to the uh, indicators, which was just, you know, lightly sanded out as well as here and also on the, on the clutch lever. But really stupid, I've never ever dropped a motorbike in my whole time of riding motorbikes now as I said in my previous video before doing this I've had a moped at the age of 16 I had motorbike from the age of 17 until now and I'm 23 never ever dropped a bike I get a brand new bike which looks immaculate I've got really great condition no marks on it whatsoever I bloody drop it two weeks of having it couldn't believe it but anyway thought I'd let you guys know what we're gonna be doing as I said heading into London gonna stick the GoPro on so previously I actually had the GoPro uh, attached to the top of my head which actually no I, I, it wasn't even here it was back here elevated so it wasn't a very good viewing angle and some of you said that I need to put it on the front by the chin area so that's what I've done I've now got it on the front so hopefully you can see all of like the tank area you can see a speedo you can see more of what I'm doing so hopefully it comes out really good but I am going into London so if I go into London and the footage doesn't come out as good as I want it to I can't really go back uh, and do it again until I go and record another video so hopefully it comes out well I also forgot to mention before we head off let's see if we can smash 1,000 likes on this video it will be my first motor vlog um, I know this is a supercar or a car channel essentially but if you want to see these motor vlogs like continue on a weekly basis I won't be able to do daily basis because I'm a gamer I do other stuff as well just haven't got the time but if you'd like to see it on a, on a weekly basis drop a like let's see if we can smash 1,000 likes anyway without further ado we're probably gonna skip all the way to London right now all right so we have arrived on Sloan Street, there's a few nice cars out. It's not super busy, but as you can see, we are losing the light. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go for basically just a drive around, see what cars are about, see what we can spot. But as I said, we're losing the light. I didn't realise it would take me this long to get to Sloan Street. But yeah, let's go for a quick drive. Uh, one thing to note, I've got apparently low petrol, which I'm not too sure about how long that's going to last. The first time I've actually got that petrol light. Oh, there you go, a Ventador. So I haven't even set off yet and we've got an Aventador. I bet he wants to park in this space. Photographer's almost killing himself to get a good video. So, what have we got here? We've got a, uh, is that? I think, yeah, it's a Porsche GT4. Wow, nice. McLaren, again, like McLarens, I really don't know what McLaren that is. Uh, they all look so similar to me. Looks very nice. They all look lovely, though. That's the thing. We've got a Ferrari here. 
458 I think by the lights nice is that no I thought that was rose gold for a second there hold on let's go around the back area bike is currently overheating it says 103 degrees so the fans on it's quite loud nice Porsche with no front number plate on it unless someone stole it I have seen a couple of Aventadors today so far, so hopefully we can find the other one. So there's the, uh, I think it's a 458 that we just saw a second ago. Sounds lovely. Not too loud. Oh, there's the Aventador, I think. Come back to that if we, uh, if we can. Martini Porsche. Again, my fan is going off. We're not going fast enough for it to cool down the engine. 105 degrees. Thank you. Not that you can hear me. So we've got Matt, a Vogue, Ferrari 430 California, it said. And there we've got the Aventador. Baby blue, McLaren in white, big rolls, I don't really know my rolls very well. Are you gonna stop? Fucking hell. Shelby. Surprise, surprise, the BM is still absolutely smashing it up and down here. And the same old cars. So we're going to go back around again, see if we can find that uh, yellow Aventador. Um, and then just, I need to get some petrol, see if we can find some more cars. And it has disappeared. Out of sight. I wonder if we can find it again. No, I'm going to stop off here, turn around. how high that car is so here we go So that's going to be unfortunately the end of the video because I didn't really plan my journey very well I started too late and as soon as I got here it was pretty much dark so I couldn't find any of the really nice cars they were all left and the light is just now so bad I can't really go for a drive because it's just too dark but nevertheless if you have enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like on the video if you want to see some more motor vlogs I will make sure that they're a lot longer in the future and better and I'll probably capture something that's uh, pretty cool like I don't even know what I'll capture because it's all random at the end of the day when it what happens in London so yeah unfortunately that's going to be the end of this video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a like if you want to see some more motor vlogs make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye bye